One of my favorite comedy movies is The Hangover. It's the story of four friends, Phil, Alan, Stu and Doug, all going to Las Vegas for one of the most epic bachelor parties ever created on the cinema. After a night of crazy adventures, the movie ends on a happy note. But they forgot one really important thing, and that is the sharing of expenses. So in this Excel challenge video, it is your job to figure out who needs to pay who by how much after looking at a bunch of expenses. Are you ready for a road trip? Let's go. Here is the list of expenses as gathered by the wolf pack. Each line tells me who is the person who spent that money and a bunch of expenses that are comma separated. And this list goes on for a few rows. Your job is to generate an output table like this where you will list all the person names, how much they have spent here, their share of expenses and how much they need to receive or pay. For the sake of this exercise, we'll assume that all the expenses will be split four ways. That is, let's just say if Phil spent $1000, then his share would be 250 and every other person's share will also be 250. You can get a copy of that file using the link that is shown on the screen or in the video description below. So get the file, solve the problem. I'm going to run a timer for 30 seconds, but feel free to pause the video here, figure out the solution and then come back to the video where I'll show you my solution for the problem. Well, I'm sorry. We're not going to put it in the Bentley. You brought it here. You bring it back. What do you think? About 40 minutes. Don't make me come back for him. Did you find it? Nope. Okay, let's take a look at my solution. To solve this problem, we need to first make sure that our data is in a clean and simple state. While this data tells me everything that happened, it is a very hard format to work with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up this data to Power Query and then quickly transform it. So I can select any one cell, go to data and then use from table range. The expenses are already in a table named EXP. So we don't need to do anything else. Just click on this and the details go into Power Query. The first step that we will do is we'll split the name and expenses to two columns. All the names have a colon and then the details go after that. So I can right click on this column and then just say split column by delimiter and the delimiter is colon. In fact, it is not just colon, it is colon and then space. That way that extra space is also gone and when you click OK, you will end up with two columns. This is the person name and that is the expenses. Next, I'm going to split these expenses so that each line contains a single expense rather than multiple expenses. So we can right click on this again, go to split column by delimiter and then select the delimiter of comma. And if you click OK now, you will see that there is one expense per cell. This format, while it is telling me what happened, it is also hard to work with. So I'm going to go to the settings here again. And instead of using the default operation, which will split to multiple columns, I'll go to the advanced option and then select rows. This will expand the table and then list one expense per row. This is perfect format for us. We can now go and figure out how much each person has spent. I'm going to right click on this and then just trans change the data type to a decimal number so that we can add the add up these values in Excel. Quickly rename these columns person expense and then I'm going to load this to Excel. This will load up a nice table here that is transformed from my original data. So now we want to generate a format like this. I'll copy my output format, paste it here and for the person's list, we can use the unique function. Unique of the person column is going to tell me all the names one per row. How much they spent? 
we can just figure out their expenses by using the sum ifs function. So if I say sum ifs of the expense column where person is here, we'll get the amount that Phil has spent. So Phil spent $4,000. $928 and when you drag this down you will see how much everyone else have spent you can drag this down or because this is a spill range or a spill range <laughs> let's go back I can also use f4 hash here that way my sum ifs will also spill down and then it will give me this so this is how much they each have spent as I mentioned the share of expenses is one fourth for everybody so share of expenses would be sum of overall expense divided by four. So this is how much the share for each of them is. So then as you can see, Phil has already spent $4,900, but his share is only $2,900. So he needs to receive this minus that. And then when you drag this down, you will see how much everyone else has to pay. So in this set of data, Phil is the biggest spender. He needs to receive $1,946 and that needs to come from these three people like that. Of course, given the fact that it is actually Doug's wedding, maybe they don't want to share the expenses with Doug, but that's for another day. Hey, did you like that Excel homework problem? This is the first time I'm doing a homework style video on my channel. If you enjoy this style of video and you want me to make more homework problems for you, let me know in the comments. As always, big thanks to you for watching this video and I'll catch you again somewhere else. Bye-bye.